Ahlen, yes, Shabab. Hello, guys and girls, to part 20 of this tutorial series. In the previous part, we finally implemented all the crowd operations, and now it's time to test our app, like I promised. But before we can test anything, we have to set up some things. I think this was a good rhyme. <laughs> okay. Um, so, first, let us create a new folder. We have public in here, we have source, but in our root folder, let's create a new folder directory called tests. And inside of it, we will ha have a helper. So, let's create a helper package. And now, in this helper package, we will create some mock responses that we are going to use. So, new TypeScript file, call it mock response. And now let me just copy the things from, from medium.com. Uh, It. Oh, by the way, this should be TypeScript. As you can see, you always make mistakes and you always try to improve. Okay. Uh, okay. Copy. Then I will explain again. To be honest, here is nothing. Okay, I want to just have some mock responses. As you can see, we have here, let's make this one a new line, this also a new line. Okay, as you can see, for a task fetch response, I have just two items in here, just to be able to test some things then later. Uh, update request. And yeah, and I create request. That's basically it. I mean, just some dummy values and nothing special in here. So next we have to do some setup, uh, function to set up in <laughs> for our tests. Let's go to source, and then you we create a new file, a new TypeScript file, set up tests. This needs to be in our main package, so that's why it's in source. And yes, so basically what we are going to do is we will have uh, we will have some. Um, we will, when we send a request, we will also mock this when the request gets sent. Or we, yeah, for when you send to the REST API request. So let's start. Export REST const REST handlers. Now we say we have rest from a library and we'll say get. From this mock server web, mock server web, um, yeah. I'm not quite sure the other thing. Yeah, from, from this library. Uh, fake rest call and we have to put the path in here so just copy the path from services task API copy all of this go to back to mock setup tests close everything else 
And here just at the end for tasks. And yeah, now we have to define what we are mocking here. We basically we mock everything. Um, we will mock request, re uh, rest, response, and context. Request, response, context. Okay. See, let me just see. Uh -huh. Now we say return. Response, the trip yes response and say and say context status ah now I, I there's no comma okay now it makes more sense <laughs> I was wondering why is this why was this so um why why were the the the, the method the, the parameters in red status and we have status two hundred and then comma context context we say JSON and we want a mock back response okay okay this is good here we have a semicolon at the end now we have to do basically for same for the other things um, because this is for fetching some data um, Uh, call mm -hmm. we can also no I just I think I will just hear at the comment so that you know at mark for success full get call okay remove this comment in here next line i mean you can oh gosh duplicate this because we ju will just have to change a few things for successful uh, this will be for post call and now let's see what we have to change status of course 201 and here we will have mock create request and yes let me just check what we what else we have to change ah of course not not hosts of course it's a post and mock for success post call at mock for success get call now let's do a post for delete say delete and now we have to but we have to say delete id the, the id uh, is the variable type and we don't have here 
the context. We don't. We just sent the ID. And that's it for the call. And also duplicate one more time this for. For what? For the mm, patch request. Say patch. And of course, we have also here ID. And we have a mock update request. Yes, that should be it. Looks very good, I would say. Hope there's. An, I I hope I didn't forget anything. And uh, now we just will say, uh, basically not here. Outside of it, we will say export const const server equals set. set up server from there okay uh, ah, sorry it's other package not this um, native i think yes native uh, i confused and then we use the spread operator again to fill the values with rest handlers. Semicolon at the end. Uh, now we can define some other things. Start server before all tests. Server before all tests. We have a before all call function. That's great. Uh, let's say parentheses inside and then we define server listen um, on an unhandled request we will uh, put out an error Okay. In case we have an unhandled error, we'll just put out the error. Then we want to close server after all tests. After all. We just say server.close. Uh, then we want to say reset. Handlers. Reset server handlers. I mean, the handlers here are basically like controllers, like in what you have in a Spring Boot. Uh, handlers after each test. Test. To isolate. Isolate. Test from each other and after each so we have after each we say server reset handlers that's nice okay looks good as mox oh, this was mox service workers okay this MSW is mock service workers. Okay. 
And now in tests. And tests, basically, we can just start create our first test. The first thing we want to test is comp in composables. Let's say format test. Normally, how you would mm, how I would do it is like create a new file, new TypeScript file, name of the thing you want to test. In our case, it's now format date dot test dot t and dot ts not just dot test and yeah, and that's how you do things. And in the next one, we will write our first test in the next video. Otherwise, this video gets too long. So, Masalam, Yashabab.